हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजय पगार एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ज्योग्राफी डियर स्टूडेंट आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मराठा विद्या प्रसंग समाजास कैरटियर्स बेच कॉमर्स एंड एम साइंस पॉपुलरली नोन एज केटीएचएम कॉलेज नासिक डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे इन दिस क्लास ऑफ एसवाईबीएससी ज्योग्राफी पेपर फर्स्ट वी हैव अ एनवायरमेंटल ज्योग्राफी पार्ट फर्स्ट टुडे we have a lecture number 5 16 of this subject and in this lecture we are going to discuss very important sub topic of this chapter that is human life in in desert region you know that uh, dear student in the last lecture we have already discussed detailed information about the human life in the mountain region for today's lecture we have a study objective on learning objective that is very simple to study the human life in the desert region The desert region, a uh, desert is a landscape or the region that receives very little precipitation. Desert are found in arid and semi-arid part of the earth's surface. This region is located around the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorns. If you see the their extension, then you observe that generally this region is lies between 20 degree north and 20 degree south. Between this region, you will observe. that this desert area i mean hot desert area is located where temperature is always very high and rainfall is regularly very low if you see the uh, area that we have that we have in the uh, on the earth surface that is sahara desert is very important the great area i mean too much area is covered by this sahara uh, uh, desert it is located in the north america We have Victoria Desert that is located in the Australia. We have the Gobi Desert that is uh, that is located in the Mongolia and some part of China. We have the Kalahari, uh, Sonor, Sonoran, Namib. Third desert also located in the India and is part of the pa Pakistan. If you see the map of desert, that you clearly observe in this map, this black color and this color is show the hot desert area that are located. in the uh, on the surface specifically i am talking about the sahara here we have the atacama here we have a kalahari third desert these are the great astern desert i mean everywhere th this area is uh, from the uh, here we have uh, this particularly in this latitude we have near the tropic of cancer and near the tropic of capricorn you observe the this said the black said back color area of in this map it shows with the hot desert region so let us see the what type of the uh, specific topography and terrain we have in this area one thing is very important mostly land of the desert is a flat region here you have a, you can clearly observe that this type of the flat uh, area or the land you will observe in the most part of the desert the main land form in the desert are dunes here we have a sand dunes and the mountains also mountains refers eroded rock structure like a mushroom rock or yarram this type of the specific land form you will observe in the desert region if you talk in the most of the terrain is rugged and hostile most of most part of this desert plain region which is covered by the deposited material carried out by the winds here in this picture you can clearly see that this is the all the um deposited material that is carried out by the wind from various place so this is the important feature or the important physiographical feature that we observe in the uh, desert region dear student one important thing that oasis is a very common feature of the desert region so what is oasis oasis is a fertile spot in the desert where the water is found a very less a small area in the desert that has a supply of the water and you know that this is the very important area where we observe the uh, few uh, houses or the small settlement around the oasis so this place is very important uh, for the human life of the uh, desert region if you talking about if you see the climatical condition that i just mentioned that <coughs> rainfall is very less and the highly varied from place to place here specific in the arid region we have a 
rainfall less than 25 cm whereas in the semi arid region it ranges between the 25 to 50 cm only it means in this area receive the very less rainfall though the evaporation is very high in its atmospheric humidity is also low observed in that region the temperature specific i am talking about the temperature that had recorded in 1913 at the death value of usa it was 56.7 degrees celsius in india also in the third desert we have recorded temperature about or about 51 degrees celsius so it means and one thing is also important that in this area that you observe that the winds are very hot and dry that we observe in the desert region if we're talking about the soil of the desert region the sand particle occupy a large part of the soil in the desert region this soil is is not too much fertile it is a very less fertile and absent of the organic matter even you can see the organic matter but the scale that proportion of the organic matter is very less therefore this desert soils are uh, not uh, too much fertile they have a poor nutrient in their content if we see the next feature of that is vegetation that you observe in particular desert region you will observe that a very limited forms of the vegetation are observed in the arid region due to the absence of the rainfall and due to the too much temperature ranges or the hot temperature we have in this region that affect the vegetation type but some geophytes type of the vegetation we observe in the some part of the desert geophytes means a plant that adapted to life in a dry condition that type of the that type of the uh, vegetation or the trees or the plants we have in the desert region they are student in the same desert region we have some plant some shrubs or the grasses are av are available or we observe at the near the oasis or the where water is available and one thing is very important the mostly the semi arid uh, tracts or the area have a grassland and here you can in this picture you can clearly see that this is a place where the scattered vegetation is available and other thing are here the cactus categories most of the tree uh, most of the plants are located or the observed in the desert region especially the the trees such as uh, cholas occurs and the various type of the cactus you observe in particularly desert region if you're talking about the animal lives we have a specific animal life in this region all the desert animals have different special mechanism for survival animals have plotted a scale skin we can resist drying some of our reptile lizard horn swipers and the turtles that we observe in particular in this region during the period of the plant growth the desert the crawls the bosses with the enormous numbers of the variety of the beetle ants vipers moths loctus and the works we observe in that particular area dear student this about the animal life and one thing is also that where whereas the crocodile are also found in the surfs the camel is a, known as a sheep of the desert is the best example of the adaptation to the desert condition you know that we called camel as a sheep of the desert because they carry the big loads from their place of the uh, one place to another place camels can carry over the 2000 uh, 200 kilogram on their backs camel can walk easily in the desert they can go three weeks without the water therefore we called camel as a sheep of the desert region this is about the uh, animal life that you observe in the desert region so let us discuss about the human life that you observe in the desert region the desert area is not too much suitable for the human beings that is that condition the climatic condition and the physical physical uh, physiographical condition is not suitable for the human settlement and human occupation therefore we observe very less human settlement that located in the desert region the human life here is a very hard human population is very rare and the settlement are small and scattered if you see the settlement that are located in the sahara uh, desert that is uh, 
uh, you will observe that the population density has very less even you have to walk for a single per to visit to a single person near about 80 kilometer it means very um, dense pop uh, less population density we observe in this area generally near the oasis we have some settlement very small settlement that we observe these are the part of the oasis that we have in the that we observe in the desert area and around this area you will observe the few settlements are located around us mostly around this oasis mostly population live in the hot region are nomadic they every time they uh, they uh, go from one place to another place for their fulfill their needs where the water is available so nomadic type of the uh, niche, uh, type of the uh, population or the people that we observe in this area nobody is lives in the major part of the desert area the in this area we observe that the tangis bukshes bindivas and bedouins these are the people these are this type of the people that we observe here specific the tangis this type of the tribal people you observe in the western sahara whereas the uh, bushmen observe in the kalhari desert whereas we have a, in australia we have the bindivas tribal people and lastly in the arabian desert we have bedouins this type of the uh, tribal people we observe in the desert region dear student in human if you talking about the human activity or the human life that we observe in the desert region their home are flourish are the portable like a tent because they 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 are not permanently housed it is a temporary house because they always they continuously move from one place to another place therefore they use the portable uh, portable type of the home like uh, tents they use the clothing that most protect them against the heat of the day and the cold of the night a specific type of the dress they wear in this area camel milk is the main food of these people the bushmen people are very primitive in their shelter of the grass and the dry branches of the neat mats they eat the meat and they use the, the poison drift arrow for the hunting the animals when these people do not get prey that time they live in the eating the snakes frogs and insect that, that that we observe in the desert area the culture of these people is strictly nomadic you will observe that each and every part of the world where we have the desert reserve in the desert reserve we uh, we observe this nomadic life of the tribal people if you talking about the human occupation the agriculture actually in in arid area the agriculture is totally absent but we have some small patches of the agriculture in semi arid area that covered by the agriculture uh, uh, agriculture the where the availability of the water is very important and if the water is available at at the oasis place around that place they uh, plow some crops and do the agriculture the main semi arid region are now good agriculture land the best example of rajasthan in india due to the rajasthan indira gandhi canal this area is really flourished i am talking about the specific near the bikaner you will observe that the agriculture is really developed due to the in introduction of the or the or the use of the irrigation water now this area is flourished with respect to the agriculture in oasis people grow dates from crops like wheat barley melons beans and other vegetable due to the availability of the water but it is not they not conducted or carried out this agriculture throughout the year but when the water is available during that particular period they Uh, conducted or the carried out the agriculture activities mostly what is people are engaged in the uh, agriculture that we observe in some part of the world where the desert is available now the other important occupation that is the animal rearing animal rearing is the very important occupation that we observe in the desert region these animal are helpful to them to supply the protein milk fur skin and transportation purpose the animal like camel and the sheep are mainly observed in this region i just mentioned the ammon is a very important uh, animal that is used for the uh, tribal purpose in that area 
hunting is other important occupation that we observe in this area. Hunting is a very primitive primary activity still practiced in some part of the world. The grassland where the famous for the hunting grounds. Dear student, the mining is also one important activity, economic activity of the human being that we observe in the mountain uh, in the desert region. At some part of the desert area, the mineral soil, the mineral are available. Therefore, the mining is started in this region. So, see, mineral soil is available in Middle East Asia, especially at the Iran, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia. Therefore, in this area, this mining activity of flourish. The copper mining is also developed in the Atacama Desert and the gold mining is also uh, famous in the Australia. Dear student, now let us see what the latest changes we observe in the human life that we have in the desert region. Many ancient small towns now become developed cities like Baghdad. In recent times, wandering tribal people have settled their permanent houses. They, they also work in the mining and the other industry as a labor. Therefore, they are not continuously moving from place to place. Now their life is become a permanent at some places. They also wear the modern dress like us and eat good healthy food due to the impact of the western countries. Therefore, this life is really changing day by day. The hunting and rearing animal occupation are also decreasing in this region because these people are now ships as a labor in the various secondary and tertiary activity they, that they have in the some part of the desert region or near the desert region. In the recent time, mineral life, especially in the Middle East, has gained more importance due to the deflation of the conventional energy source. And therefore, in that area, the human life or the human settlements increasing day by day. Due to the impact of the migrated people from various parts of the region, the lifestyle of the local native tribes is changing very fastly. If we are talking of the problem that we observe in the desert region, the first is the problem is that we have the spreading of desert. Deserts are spreading in the outer migrant uh, margins. Most of the outer margin of the deserts are open without having tree cover. Hence, with the blowing winds, many sand particles are get spread in the surrounding fertile area. Like here in this picture, you can see that this is the uh, deposition of the soil particles and when in, so in desert area we don't have too much obstacle for the blowing winds therefore the soil particles are carried out into the nearby area and in this area the desert area is spreading very fastly this is the important problem that we observe in the desert region second problem is that we observe in the desert region sand storm in the sand storm, visibility decreases with a very high rate. The people and the animal could not breathe properly in this area. So therefore, this type of the uh, sand storm is a very common phenomena that you observe in the most part of the world. Then last one important problem that you observe, there is a decreasing availability of the water. In the most part of the desert, water is very scanty and hardly available. And the amount of that, that, what, that uh, available water is decreasing day by day due to the over uses and continuous the use of that water is increasing in that area. So dear student, this was about today's lecture. In next lecture, we are going to discuss other important point of this subject of this chapter that is human life in the coastal region. So uh, thank you. Uh, we will see again in the next lecture.